To add a hoop within the Generations program, if we go up to View and left click, we can scroll down to View Preferences. Once we get down to View Preferences, go ahead and left click. Within the Preference setting, there are three tabs at the top, General, Hoop, Original Point, or Canvas setting. Let's click on the Hoop slash Original Point, so we just left click there, and here you can choose a custom hoop or a machine hoop type. If you would like to uh, add new hoops underneath a category, such as the Singer, or you can see the other various machines that are in here, uh, you can do so. You can also add a whole new category if you'd like for your own specific machine, or let's say you have some aftermarket attachments. To add hoops underneath a category, we will click on the category we would like to add it under. So once that is left click selected, we will click on the plus sign. Go ahead and left click on the plus sign, and in here you can see the factory name. The type name, which would be the subcategory. So in the subcategory, I will put the name of my machine, and I will type in diamond. The display name, here I can type in my hoops, or my hoops name. So I'll go ahead and just type in large hoop. After I type that in, I can then input the qualities of the hoop, the width and the height, as well as the curves of the hoop. So if it's got a curved corner, I can change this here, or um, if it's a complete circle, I can move it all the way across. Um, usually with curved hoops, the curved corners, we're between a 20 and 30 percent here. Here I can type in my width and height. I can type them independently, or if I have a square hoop, I can click on one-to-one -one aspect ratio, and as I type in the width, you will see that the height will change. Once I hit enter or OK, now that will show up underneath Viking, diamond, there's the large hoop, and um, with that large hoop selected, I will click on show hoop, it will show me a 100 by 100 uh, hoop with a 30% um, corner. So when I click on that and press OK, I just left click OK, we can now see that in screen. If I'd like to go back and change that hoop, modify it, or add more hoops, I can always go back to View Preferences by left clicking View. When I left click View, I scroll down to view preferences and left click. We'll go back to the hoop original point tab and here I just want to change the large hoop. I don't want to change diamond, I was just want to change the large hoop. So I click on large hoop and I click on the three dots button. I left click and then here I can change my attributes of that hoop. Let's say I wanted a width of 150 and a height of 200, I can change that. And when I press enter or OK, that will now change it within my preferences. So if I click on that and now press OK, you will see that change. Let's go back to view and then view preferences. We'll go back to the hoop original point tab. And if I want to add more hoops under the diamond, I can left click on that and click on the plus sign. Here I can add an another category and change the uh, information below. I'm not going to do anything here, so I'm just going to press cancel. So anytime I want to add a hoop under a specific category, I click on the category or the machine and um, add the hoop underneath there. Press the plus sign. If I want to add a whole new whole new category of machines or maybe an aftermarket attachment, I just click on one of these machine hoop types. It doesn't matter which one. Then I hit the plus sign. Here I need to change the factory name. So let's say I have a new machine or a new hoop. Let's say I have some fast frames. I can type in fast frames. I will give it the type name or the subcategory. I'll call this uh, seven in one. In the display name, I will name this pant leg. And then I can choose my settings. Here I will choose a um, 40 by 150 
press OK. And here you can now see I have fast frames in my list of hoops. I will choose the pant leg, I'll show it horizontal, and press OK. Now you can see my pant leg hoop. Now these are not exact uh, measurements, these are only for show. So as far as your hoop size is concerned, please refer to your manual or your hoops reference for the exact sizes. So we'll go back to view one more time, click on view preferences, and go back to the hoop original point tab. Now if I want to delete anything, you know, any hoop, any subcategory, anything like that, if I want to delete all of fast frames, I just want to click on the um, section that I want to delete. Now if I click on this, it's going to delete the 7 and 1 and delete the pant leg. So I will click on the minus sign next to the plus sign, and when I click on that, that will just delete it. So now that is out of my list. But if I scroll down, I can see if I go back down to Viking and I click on the diamond, there's my large hoop still. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact us at Tech Support, that's T E C H S U P P O R T, at generationsemb.com.